fishing. If someone wanted to catch their own seafood dinner, they would set some bait on a hook, cast it into the wide ocean, and hope that they could trick a fish into biting what it thinks is just something to eat. If someone wants to distribute malware or steal personal information, they might send out an email with bait that looks like something worthwhile and then cast it to a wide audience, intentionally deceiving people by posing as a legitimate company, service, or individual. Criminals typically utilize email to pretend to be a company or service, requesting that you do something, usually urgently. They're hoping that you then click the link and fill out the requested information. Once they have this information, they may be able to use it in the future to steal your identity or access your accounts. An even more direct and targeted method is called spear phishing. Instead of going after many victims for a small reward, the criminal goes after an individual or a small number of high-value victims. This method uses information tied to your company or to you personally from research on social media or elsewhere. Email addresses and links look very close to a colleague or business partner and corporate and partner logos are often used to look authentic. The goal is typically to get access to a system by gathering your credentials or to install malware on your computer. So, what should you be looking out for with phishing emails? Well, first, look at the sender. Is it actually who it claims to be? It may say it's from PayPal, but when you look at the domain name, the part after the at symbol, it has nothing to do with PayPal at all. Another tell is grammatical or spelling errors contained in the email. And finally, if you mouse over the login link at the bottom, you'll notice that it does not say PayPal.com. These tells reveal that this email is not from the real PayPal. Usually the tells are fairly easy to spot when you know what to look for, but sometimes they're much more subtle, maybe only off by a letter or two, or just inverted. The safest practice is to never click on a link in an email, but instead to go directly to the site by typing in the URL, clicking on the link in your favorites, or performing a search for the organization. Some of the top tips to avoid phishing are Check who the email sender really is Check the email for grammar and spelling mistakes Mouse over the link to see where it goes to If you are ever at all unsure, do not click the link Instead, manually type in the company's URL in your browser Contact your IT security team if you're unsure at all about an email